Here's some ground rules, okay? If my hand shakes or I, I drop something, we don't call Dad, okay? Oh, okay. I'm fine, you know. It, it doesn't hurt. It's just frustrating, that's all. So it's gonna keep on happening, isn't it? I guess so. But it's not your job to take care of me. That's a stupid thing to say. You've been talking to Parker, haven't you? Well, I'm a kid, and you're sick. And if I'm alone with you, I should take care of you, right? What happens if what happens if it happens again? What am I supposed to do? Well, if it goes on for too long, or, or if I can't talk to you, then you call for help. But look what just happened now. It hit, and uh, it goes away, and we can carry on with what we were doing, right? Well, maybe you should just lie down, take a rest. No. I'm going to help with the diorama. It's what I live for. It's not important. JJ. It's everything. And so Carly wants to stay strong, especially in front of the kids. She wants to be super mom. So she asked that I'd watch out for her. Let her know if she's slipping. Let her know if she's not being herself. And I said I would. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You do what you have to do. Don't no, worry about it. But it's not me. fair. Who the hell knows what is anymore? Certainly not Carly. No, not Carly. Listen, I think we made a little mistake. What? I mean, I know we both meant well. I know I meant well. I thought that my job here was to keep going. You know, get mortgages, buy furniture. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I wanted too, but it's not right. It just, just feels like a lie. I think right now my job is just to be your backup. Make it easier for you to make things easier for her. Like today, I have the rest of the day off. I could pick up the kids from practice or take them wherever you want, just so you don't have to leave her. And let me help you handle this the way Carly wants to handle it. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, I didn't really remember that. <sighs> it's Jack smiling. Ah, uh, well, actually, I was remembering how I found you and the boys practicing hockey out in front of the house. <laughs> yeah, remember I remember that? that. I also remember how good it felt when you put your arms around me. Don't think I've forgotten that I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I think that you and I are on our way to a very nearly perfect diorama. You just love saying that word, don't you? Which word? Diorama? <laughs> I do, actually. Would you do me a favor and get me a glass of water? Sure. Do you, do you want anything else while I'm there? No, I'm good. I'm gonna go get something to eat, okay? Sure. There's fruit in the crisper. Good. It's good that she talked to you. She's been going through a lot. She needs a show. Yeah, what about you? One foot in front of the other. And how did your feet lead you here? <laughs> I'm working. Why? Jack, we've got you covered. You're still technically on your honeymoon, and you've got, like, 8,000 personal days. It's always been a great escape, Margo. I mean, what could be better than working out your frustrations on a bunch of bad guys? Yeah, but you're not doing that. You're just shuffling around papers. Okay, which reminds me how sad it's really gotten, Jack. because there was a time Jack. that I'd love to Jack. come. Jack, When we know for sure that we're losing someone, it just kind of makes us feel like traitors, knowing that we've got tomorrow and they don't. Yeah. 
so she understands and she's uh, she's been really she's been really great putting her life on hold and everything but I just told her that I promised Carly that I'd stay close 24 7 in case that's what she wanted well, you think that Katie doesn't understand no that? I told you she's been great she said do whatever you need to do but I didn't give her a choice I told her my decision without talking to her about it. And I think, no, I know. It was a mistake. And you're all right with all this? Of course I am. Jack wouldn't be Jack if he wasn't doing the right thing. But he could have talked to you about it first. We're all dealing with a lot right now. And I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Okay, all right. Stop. Well, if Carly wants to make things as easy and happy for the kids as possible, I want to help. Yeah? I thought I'd take JJ today, so maybe she could rest or spend time with Parker and Sage. Why are you so nervous? I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I just think it'll be easier for everyone involved. It'll be a lot easier to digest if you and I do it together. You're scared to see Carly alone, aren't you? No! I'm terrified. Somehow Mary got into my room, drugged my scotch. Next thing I know, I was waking up in the trunk of a car. Then how do you know it was him? Because I got a good look at him when he shot me. Why did he have it in for you? Because I know the truth. Colonel Mayer murdered his ex-wife, Charlene Wilson, A.K.A. Cherie Love. Luke! Oh, why isn't he answering us? He's probably too far away to hear us. Oh, his stuff is here. They can't be that far away. You know what? I'm going to try a cell again. Luke! Damn it. I'm scared. Yeah, because our son's out camping with a murderer. Apparently, you weren't scared enough to tell oh, me the whole story. Please, Alden! You know what? They're on a fishing trip. So they're probably at the lake already. Come on. You know, ma'am, this is very serious business. This is camping. What do you know from camping? Oh, come on. I'm an expert camper. That's why I got the hard task. I'm gathering the wood. Hmm. You're just supposed to run an errand. Pretty full of yourself, aren't you? Oh, well, that's because I am one with nature. In fact, you know what? When we go fishing, I'm not going to use a pole. I'm going to use my bare hands. Oh, well, I guess you won't be needing your lucky fishing <laughs> oh, cap, will you? Oh, come on. <laughs> that's my cap, and I look so good in that. <laughs> Last time you're ever gonna touch my son.